I, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hi, I'm Daphne. Be scared. And I'm Aiden. Thanks for tuning in. We have just a few announcements before fall break, so let's begin. Congratulations to the girls varsity tennis team who played this last weekend in the state team tennis tournament. The girls made it to the semifinals where they lost to the number one seed. Congrats on a great season. Don't forget to drop by the LMC for their button making event happening all day today. The boys volleyball team will play their final home game tonight. They take on Madison Memorial in the sectional semifinal match. Game time is 7 p.m. Stay tuned for more announcements, including an interview with the marching band leaders and a video from your candidate for student majority leader. But most importantly, before we leave, the MHS announcers have a special message from Ms. Kruger, whose last school day is in the building today. Ms. Kruger will be moving to the district office and we need to say thank you for building the MHS media department into what it is today. As a senior, I have known our media specialist Ms. Kruger for the past four years and I'd just like to thank her for everything she did, for putting up with my weird announcement song um, and putting up with my best friends Evelyn and Tanner's weird dad jokes. We are going to miss you so much but we're so proud of what you're going to do. And I'm only a freshman so I've only known you for like six weeks but you've been absolutely amazing to me and given me this amazing opportunity to do the announcements every morning. You're just such a lovely person Ms. Kruger and Thank you for all the work you've done for us. We Thank you. you. It's a heart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was a good heart. That was probably not, okay, mediocre heart. There's love behind it. Yeah. You're the best, Miss Kruger. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Kruger, for all of the work that you've done the past four years. You've made the announcement so much more fun and it's been great working with you. We'll miss you. Thank you so much, Ms. Kruger, for running the media department. We'll miss you. Thank you so much, Ms. Kruger, for being so amazing for all four years that I've known you. And thank you for helping me do the announcements since my freshman year. And I hope that you have a wonderful time wherever you're going. Hey, D, I just want to thank you for all the really good times. <laughs> I'm just thinking about all the fun I used to have with Matt doing the announcements. And, you know, Thor and Odin is one of my best moments doing the announcements. Uh, over the years I've gotten to know you really well and you're just an amazing person and I, I know how much work you do and how much they ask you to do and you are truly appreciated. I can't say enough just how much you are appreciated and I'm so thankful to have you. Um, so I'm just gonna end this by saying you're awesome and um, I really hope that we continue working together in the future until until one of us retires, right? <laughs> Thanks. So I'm Cheyenne Halverson. I am a senior this year and I am a drum major in marching band. My name is Will Bush. Um, I'm a junior this year, and I'm also the other drum major in the marching band. Uh, my name is Moyna Mendoza, also my Mo. Uh, I'm a junior, and I'm a librarian. I'm Sora Blavat. I'm a junior, and I'm a member of the Color Guard. It's a lot about community, like working hard to create um, a, a cool, fun, and good scoring production. Uh, I think to me it means you know, working really hard to achieve a common goal of showing other schools and like people around us that, you know, band is more than just sitting around and playing two or three notes. So we start out and we have like two weeks in August where it's like marching band every day for like eight or nine hours and like we just go through the show and you have to like practice the music and then also practice the marching and then put it all together. Then it falls apart a little bit, but then like you get there eventually and it feels really awesome when it's like you can do it all. For the guard, we take the last three weeks of August 
uh, two of the weeks with the band, and uh, we just run out with flags and memorize drill and other choreo. Well, half of our band had never marched before. So all the freshmen and sophomores had never um, had a year of marching band. So for the leadership team, a lot of the hard work was getting people caught up. And even ourselves, we hadn't marched in two years. Um, so it was a lot of hard work kind of making up all that lost ground. Figuring out what to do with my days, really. Just kind of the whole week of August, I had all this free time and didn't know what to do with it. Uh, it was pretty hard like, getting all the freshmen and sophomore, which is more than you know usual, uh, getting them, telling them what they do and you know teaching them how to march and how to play and march at the same time, which is a lot harder than it seems. Um, a lot of people don't know about marching band is our big things are these competitions. So the football games are fun, but um, on weekends throughout uh, September and October we compete at um, kind of statewide competitions um, where we compete against other marching bands in our division and uh, we get scored by judges. Yeah, and then we're in the Quad A division, so we compete against bands that are of a similar size. And so a lot of the competitions we go to are smaller, just like a couple other bands. But then um, state is when all the marching bands in the state get together and they all compete. Going out there at first, it's nerve wracking, but once you're out on that field, like all the nerves turn into excitement and adrenaline. You're like, I want this to be the best performance I can make it. I think when you get to your position, about to begin, you get you, you click, you get into that zone of like, all right, I've I've been working so hard for two months. This is this is where this is it. After this, I I don't have to march for another year. So let's make this the best I can do. I was cold. Um, <laughs> we were just kind of sitting there, shivering a little bit. But like we kept like because they announced scores like going up, and then like so like third place was like announced, and that wasn't us. And it was like okay, like we kind of did something. And then it was just really exciting that we like once we heard our yeah. score. I think. In previous years, we've gotten like sixth overall in state and then fourth overall in state. Um, and coming off of COVID, we weren't totally sure how we were going to stack up compared to the other bands. And regardless of what we scored, we were happy with our season. But as they just kept announcing more and more bands going up and up the podium, we were, I don't know, my heart kept beating faster and faster. And all, all of a sudden, um, there was Middleton at second place. Once they said the numbers, the first thing that went into my mind, I was like, that's a Middleton number and it was revealed that we came second place and I was so happy and so excited. Hearing the scores of our division, uh, hearing them continually go up, I honestly thought we were gonna get like bottom fourth. Hearing the numbers continually go up in different schools being called, that's not us. I was like, we're gonna, are we scoring top three? Third was called, it wasn't us. Second was called, I, I lost it. Like it was, it was great. And the other school that was near us, they, like, they're, they're the top band, but they were congratulating us. Like, that, that shows like the community that not just we have, but we have with other bands as well. I knew that everyone in the band like put like everything into that show, but like I had no idea like how we would compare to everyone else. We didn't really get to see many of the other bands either. I was, we were happy with the season regardless. We had felt we had accomplished something great, um, but it was really like a feeling of joy and kind of satisfaction to, to place that well and set the record for our for Middleton. Us, I guess, as a trend, are getting better and better, and we're showing like all these other schools that have had programs for years, like more, way longer than we have, that we're, that we're on par with them, and that you know, if we keep working on it, we'll maybe maybe we'll get first place eventually. Yeah, it just shows that we that there's a possibility that we can get first, and we can get an even higher score if we tried even harder. I think it's really rewarding because we put like so much into this and like we've all worked so hard and then it's like yay like we did like something really impressive. You should join. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Um, we work really hard and also have a lot of fun so you yeah. have a good work hard play hard mentality. Exactly. You, you, you feel great. I think I think you, you definitely feel like I'm a part of this multi-person like, like there's so many cogs and you're one of those one of those cogs in that machine 
that makes this band function as great as it does. And it, it just makes you like feel like, again, really good. Because you're like, yeah, I was there, that's me. And you can see yourself doing it. Even if it's like your first time even holding on to an instrument, you just want to be a part of the march band, you'll instantly be just attached to this giant group of people that eventually every single one of them will end up being your friend whether you like it or not. Like it just happens. I guess we should also like shout out Color Guard and Drumline. They had uh, some of their best seasons yet as well. Um, with, they're both part of marching bands still, but they're also kind of their, their own kind of subsection. So they, they both had extraordinary seasons. Um, yeah, and they got like first in like, like at our smaller competitions, there's like caption awards. So like they got like best color guard and best percussion like within like those competitions, which we're really proud of them for that because they yeah. put in so much hard work. Yeah. So join marching band. <laughs> <laughs>I'm Henry Dickinson, and this is why I should be your majority leader. I have loads of experience on writing and passing bills, uh, which is a critical skill needed for majority and minority leaders. I've gotten this through Model UN, which I've done for about a year and a half now. Another thing necessary for a majority leader is someone with strong democratic views. So um, here's me helping pick up the parking lot at Middleton with Daphne, it's helping out the environment. I really care about the environment. There's me um, at a dam. I also really care about renewable energy. Here's me supporting our local businesses, especially the ones that have um, half gallon buckets of ice cream. Another topic important to me is really just making sure everyone's voices is heard. And so as majority leader, I'll be sure to make sure each of you are equally heard. Um, a final topic important to me is LGBTQ rights. I was at a Phoebe Bridges concert. Um, and I think it's really important that everyone's treated equally. 